In this fifth video of the Rubik's Financial Ratio series, we will delve into efficiency ratios and their applications in financial analysis. When assessing a company's financial performance, a key factor to consider is its operational efficiency. Efficiency ratios are financial metrics that provide insights into how well a company is using its resources such as assets and capital to generate income. There are several efficiency ratios, each shedding light on different aspects of a company's operations. Let's discuss a few important ones. The accounts receivable turnover ratio helps analyze the efficiency of a company's revenue collection efforts. This ratio measures the number of times a company collects its average accounts receivables during a given period. Usually, a more efficient company has a higher accounts receivable turnover ratio compared with a less efficient one. Accounts payable turnover ratio is a metric that helps us understand how many times a business pays off its accounts payable during a given period. A higher accounts payable turnover ratio may indicate that the company has a comfortable cash position, enabling it to pay off its suppliers in a timely fashion. Inventory turnover ratio helps us understand how many times a company has turned over its inventory relative to its cost of goods sold in a given period. Usually, an efficient company will have a higher inventory turnover ratio compared with an inefficient one. Asset turnover ratio shows how efficiently a company uses its assets to generate revenue. It is calculated by dividing net sales by the average total assets. A higher ratio implies better asset utilization, which is generally a sign of strong operational efficiency. Remember, the more efficiently a company operates, the more likely it is to generate maximum revenue and income for its shareholders over the long term. Why are efficiency ratios important in financial analysis? Firstly, these ratios provide insights into liquidity. A company with higher efficiency ratios is likely to have a better cash flow. Secondly, efficiency ratios help analysts during risk assessment. Poor efficiency ratios may signal operational inefficiency and potential financial stress, which can be a red flag for creditors and investors. With this, we come to the end of the Rubik's Financial Ratio video series. Remember, no single financial ratio tells the whole story. It is crucial to analyze it in conjunction with other financial metrics and consider specific industry benchmarks. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of various financial ratios and their importance in financial analysis. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more financial and risk insights.